Greetings. Today I would like to talk with you about the spouse visa. First thing I would like to say is all the information in regards to applying for a spouse visa is on gov.uk. So please familiarise yourself with the information on gov.uk where you'll be able to find up to date information on the whole process, criteria and requirements for applying for your spouse to come to the UK. In the previous um, video that I, I made in part one, I spoke about the criteria and some of the requirements. In today's video, I would like to address the support that's available for you. Um, the first type of support would be um, just general support in case you don't have Wi-Fi or you don't have access to the internet or you may not have a computer or you just may not feel comfortable applying online there is support for you in those instances um, I'll put the details on, on the screen if you contact um, these people you can contact them either online or by telephone um, and reach out to them I believe they will ask you what your um, concerns are whether it's not having access to internet or Wi-Fi or computer or just having a lack of confidence in using the latest technology to apply for your visa online they can support you either face to face um, if you're housebound I believe they can actually send somebody out to your home or over the telephone so that's a different type of support that they can give you but obviously that would be down to um, eligibility criteria, and I guess assessments that they'll go through with you but potentially that's the type of support available in regards to online access the second type of support would be um, applying for a fee waiver so this would be a discount on the on the application fee I'm, I, I'm not sure by how much but every little bit helps so I'll put the details up of how you can apply for a fee waiver. Criteria for applying for a waiver would be you cannot pay the fee because you do not have a place to live and cannot afford one or have a place to live but cannot afford essential living costs like food or heating and lastly you have a very low income and paying the fee would harm your child's well-being. So those are the three points um, based on which you can actually apply for um, a fee waiver. I'll put the details on the screen. I, I wasn't actually aware that you could apply for a fee waiver. I wish I knew about this before. Yeah, I mean, you've got nothing to lose. You can apply for a fee waiver. If you cannot afford the, the application fee that I'll be speaking about is how long your application takes. There has been a massive delay over the past two years due to events outside of our control however the waiting times have somewhat gone back to normal um, the application that we made actually took up to it didn't even take seven weeks it took about six and a half weeks our application but I'll go through the standard waiting times for each application with you now Right, so if you're applying from outside the UK, the decision is usually um, given within 24 weeks. If you apply from inside the UK, meet the minimum income requirements, enough of a bit of that a bit later. Um, knowledge of English, usually get a decision within eight weeks. So if you're applying from inside the UK, meet the minimum income requirements, knowledge of English, you will receive a decision within eight weeks i will be addressing the income requirements in another, another video um things are quite um all over the place now but i will address that in the next video uh the income requirements because everything's just all over the place now right so you can pay for a faster the de decision with your visa um, I personally didn't pay for a faster decision because if your application is somewhat complicated or if your application 
isn't straightforward you're probably not likely to fast track your decision but obviously it's up to you if you want to pay that little bit extra however it's your money but will you get a decision faster right so if you actually go on to gov.uk and you do look up a uh, fee waiver i believe it's a new service it actually lists a uh, guidance for caseworkers so you can have an idea of how the caseworkers actually come to their decisions whether it's to reject the application or to accept it it has different information in here so it, it can give you a clue as to what you should look out for when you apply what type of evidence you submit